What up, everybody? Instructive Beats back again here today with another fraction lesson. Today, we're going to be talking about how we can multiply whole numbers in fractions. So let's see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to multiply a whole number times a fraction by using repeated addition. But before we do that, it's important that we review a couple skills that we're going to be using today. So first of all, we're going to need to know how to read a number line, right? So whenever we come to a number line, I like to circle my whole numbers right here. Um, and again, that just helps me figure out what my denominator is, right? Because my denominator is how many spaces I have in between 0 and 1, equal spaces, if you will, or equal pieces. So I can see here that I have three spaces in between each whole. So my denominator is going to be 3. And then if I start at zero and count, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So eight thirds is what's represented on this number line, or you can count your holes, right? And you could say two holes, and then you would have one, two equal pieces after that. So two and two thirds. You could represent this fraction using either the improper fraction or the mixed number. But number line skills are going to be important today. It's also important to revisit some skills that we have with repeated addition, right? So if I had five plus five plus five, obviously that is 15, but I could also view this as three groups of five, right? And if I wanted to write this as a multiplication equation, I would say three groups of, that's what that multiplication time sign means, five, which is 15. Now, we could also be comparing with multiplication, but today we're going to choose to think about this multiplication sign as repeated addition, as groups of. So if I wanted to show this on the number line, I would start at 0, and I'd have 1 group of 5, 2 groups of 5, 3 groups of 5, right? And you could even put plus 5 up here if you wanted to. So we know how to represent multiplication equations or repeated addition equations using a number line. Today we're going to be taking that skill and applying it to fractions. The key thing to take away from this is we know that multiplication is really repeated addition. Excuse the bad handwriting. We're going to solve this whole number times a fraction three different ways. We're going to view this as five groups of two thirds, right? And we're going to do this using repeated addition, okay? So we could either show it using an area model on a number line or just writing the addition sentence and solving it. I'm going to take the same problem. We're going to show it three different ways to solve it but all of it's gonna be viewing this as repeated addition because that's what we know multiplication is. All right, so here we have five groups of two thirds, right? So we have zero and this would be one, this could be two, three, and four, right? Because I have four area models. My denominator is three and I wanna make five groups of two thirds. So here's one group of two thirds. Here's another group of two thirds. Here's another group of two thirds. So, so far that's one, two, three groups of two thirds. Here is my fourth group of two thirds and my last group of two thirds. And so if I had five, right? So here's one, two, three, four, five groups of two thirds. You can see that I have two, four, six, eight, 10 pieces shaded and my denominator is still three, right? Because when you add fractions, your denominator doesn't change. We just did this with repeated addition. Or if you wanted to, you could write this as three and one third because you had three holes completely shaded and then one third of my last one. If you look right here, we're not going to talk too much about this, but you can kind of start to see a pattern as we solve these equations with my whole number and my fraction and the product that I'm going to get. Let's solve this same problem, but on a number line. All right, I'm still viewing this as five groups of two thirds. So here, when I came to my number line, I see that I have four holes here, just like I did with my area model, except now it's on a number line. Let me go ahead and label this. Okay, and you can notice that I had the whole number or I had the fraction that represented that, right? Because fractions can be equivalent to whole numbers. Six thirds is two, nine thirds is three, 12 thirds is four. Now I just want five groups of two thirds. So I'm gonna skip count by two thirds, right? And that's one group, that's gonna be plus two thirds. Then I'm gonna do another one, two, and that's gonna be another two thirds right there. I'm doing another two thirds, right? And I'm just doing this with repeated addition. And you can see right here that I had four groups so far and I wanted five, so I'm gonna go two thirds more. 
And guess what? I still get the same answer. I still end up at 10 thirds or three holes and one third of my next hole. You can see, no matter if I did it with my area model or my number line, I can still show the repeated addition and I still get the same answer. Now most people don't want to draw out a number line or an area model. So let's just take a look at how we can write the addition sentence to solve this problem. So here again, I have five groups of two thirds. And so I know I need five groups and each group is gonna have two thirds in it. So I have two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds plus one more group of two thirds. And you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five groups of two thirds. And now I can just use my adding fraction knowledge. I know when I add fractions, my denominators have to be the same, which they are. And my denominator stays the same when I add it. So now all I need to do is add my numerators. Two plus two is four, plus two is six, plus two is eight, plus two is 10. And I get 10 thirds as my answer. So again, my answer can be 10 thirds, or you can write that as a mixed number of three and one third. If you don't know how to do that, check out our lesson. I'll link it in the cards right here on how to write improper fractions as a mixed number, but that's not the point of this lesson. So we really wanna focus on using our addition equation and viewing multiplication as repeated addition to help us understand how to multiply whole numbers times fractions. All right, here we have our we do problem. So we have four groups of one half. Again, we're gonna choose to view multiplication as repeated addition. Can't really, there we go. Groups of, so four groups of one half. And I'm gonna solve it using a number line. So right here I see again that I have four holes. All right, but that doesn't tell me my denominator. I would need to split my number line into two pieces for each hole. So I'm gonna split each hole into two pieces. There we go. And I'm gonna label it, so this would be one half, and my last one would be eight halves. All right, so now, again, I'm viewing this as repeated addition. I have four groups of one half, so each group is gonna have one half in it, and I need four of them. So here's one, two, three, four, and when I did one half plus one half, oh, I guess I forget, need my plus signs there, plus one half, I ended up at four halves, or we could also write that just as the whole number, two. So again, just showing it on my number line, but also look right here, I did my repeated addition. You can solve it any way you want. You can solve it with the area model, the number line, or just write the repeated addition a sentence. Again, the point of this is to understand that when I multiply a whole number times a fraction, I can think about it as repeated addition. All right, here's your you try problem. You can choose to solve this using a number line, an area model, or just writing it as a addition equation, but go ahead and pause the video, solve the problem, push play, and let's see how you did. So hopefully you just paused it. And again, we're reading this as five groups of three-fourths. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite this as three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. That'd be three groups, so I need another group, that's four groups, and I need one more to make five groups. When I add fractions, my denominator stays the same, and here I have three, six, nine, 12, 15 fourths, and so your improper fraction is 15 fourths, or you could write that as three holes and three fourths, okay? So no, I'm not gonna show the number line just to save time for the video or the area model, but if you did those, that's great. No matter what you did, if you're viewing this multiplication equation as repeated addition, you should end up with the right answer. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We know there's lots of different options online. Go ahead and check out all our fraction songs on our Instructed Beat Song playlist, our classroom timers, our relaxing music and study music. We would love to have you join the Instructed Beats family by hitting that subscribe button. Help us out. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Instructed Beats, out.